All right, guys. Those of you who have TJs know, or should know, how difficult these Torx bolts are to get off. Worst mistake I ever made on this TJ was just starting for no good reason. I had no reason to take them off other than they were rusty. And I thought, rather than looking at this kind of rust, I'd like to have stainless steel bolts to just make it look cleaner. Trying to restore the Jeep, fix all the rusted parts when I see them. But ran into some issues here because these bolts, as you can see by this one, have no, in, no structural integrity whatsoever. That inside Torx hole just strips out on the first turn. They're locked in there with Loctite and rust, body paint from the factory, and they're nearly impossible to get out. So what I hope to do in this video is show those of you who are struggling with, like me, how to get these kind of bolts out. Let you see, I got one out over here, one out over there earlier, as well as pretty much the whole side. This one will be for a later day. As you can see in the middle of this, I broke an easy out bit into the middle of it. So that's going to have to be drilled out with a diamond tip drill bit or, or something, maybe a tungsten carbide bit. This one as well, the easy out isn't as big, and I thought I still had some grip on there with the Torx, but no such luck. So the method I'm using, first I've applied a generous coat of PB Blaster. Let that sit. I, I've been applying it for a couple days now. Uh, just let it sit in there. Hopefully some goes into the crevices here, goes back in behind. I don't think it does anything. Maybe it dissolves a little bit of rust, but the problem is the Loctite. Then what I do is I take duct tape, I go around the hole. This one's going to be more important because I have this window trim here, but I'm trying to, to save the body paint. I've seen other videos where people use torches and there's a big, um, it dulls the surface, it takes the sheen out, sometimes it even just ruins the paint. So what, I, what I've been doing is layering up a few layers of duct tape around the hole. I got some no residue duct tape so it's easy to come off, it doesn't leave any sticky stuff. And it, it, it seems, to, seems to be working. Then I take my, I have a butane soldering iron that I took the tip off. I hold that flame up to it. I mean, I'm getting it red hot. I try to focus the frame, or the flame on the middle. Hopefully, the 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 heat will move backwards as it heats up the bolt and melts that Loctite. Then I'm going to take my hammer drill bit. I got this on Amazon. I'll try to post a link down below the video. It takes a five sixteenths bit. T40 bit, line that up in that hole after I heat it up, then I pound it about 20 times with this hammer as hard as I can. That's worked for the last three and then I finish the job with this. I still have to put a lot of torque on this. I really focus on not bending this Torx bit out because on a few of my other bolts I've actually broken the Torx bit. That's how stuck these things are. It's ridiculous. All right, let me get the duct tape layered up and I'll show you guys the first step. All right, so here's the duct tape. Again, I put several extra layers here. I just normally just do two layers. I go, I just do like the right on the edge and then I go fill in the corner gaps. It doesn't be perfect. I have noticed that if I don't get close, uh, there is a little bit of damage from the flame. But again, if you're close like that, it will melt the duct tape, but I'm only keeping the flame on there for about 30 seconds, so by the time it melts through the duct tape, it doesn't get long enough on the body 
to melt. I'm really worried about the seal right here. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, wish me luck. Make sure this is lined up on Lucky Lucy. So I stripped that screw out too. So, uh, take the duct tape off, see the damage on the seal, see if that hurt it at all. As you can see, the duct tape didn't hurt the seal. The flame didn't reach it. It did melt the flame, or melt the duct tape a little bit. This one was already kind of tripped. I tried it with an uh, impact drill, impact driver drill. Didn't, uh, didn't do anything. The, the driver bit actually broke off in this one, but it didn't strip it out. I was able to pull the, the bit out with a pair of needle nose pliers, and the bolt was still good. This one is already kind of gummed up a little bit, so I have one, two, three, three bolts left. I've replaced all the other bolts. That is a pain in the ass. I'm not sure if I want to, the other two bolts are. They had easy out bits in them. So I'm not sure if I want to do the easy out method. It did work for one of them. But the, the, the tool I have for the easy out is about this wide to grip, about quarter inch bars. So I'm twisting it and it's really digging into my hands. I'm not able to get a good enough grip and I'm torquing the bit this way and it, it breaks. All right, uh, we'll try another method, see what works. All right, so here's an update. I got these other screws put in, the ones I just took out. This one's still busted, as you can see. That's what happened when I hit it, you know, with the Torx bit, just all chewed up. You can see the rust on it. It's pretty bad. That one's installed, looks pretty nice. All of these ones are installed. So, what I did was, sorry I'm walking around, I wasn't really prepped for this, but as you can see I got a real small Dremel bit coated with some kind of a diamond abrasion on there. I got those on Amazon for like 10 bucks for a whole package of them. There's like three of those packs, so didn't think they'd last that long, but what I did was actually cut a slit into this one as you can see sorry the flash is on I don't know if it's making it worse or better it's kind of dark in my parking garage I cut a slit into this one and because there's a easy out bit stuck in there as you can kind of see I mean it's it's pretty bad in there um, my hammer impact uh, hand tool comes with a bunch of flathead pieces and Phillips as well 5 16 pretty solid but this actually the slit I made it so it's perfect I mean there's barely any play in there once I get the once I get it hammered in 
I didn't want to go too deep because I didn't want to hit the body, but you can see it's pretty locked in once I get it level. So I'm going to hit it with the torch, see what happens. Stand by. All right, sorry, there's no real way. This just made my week. You have no idea how long I've been working on this. And the slip method actually works better than the, than the Torx bolt, honestly. The Torx thing, I've broken, I mean, people at Ace Harbor know me by name now because I've taken back three or four, I think four Craftsman Torx bolts. They break off so easily. And I just keep on going in, taking one back and getting a new one. And, I mean, all these, I mean, I got all these bolts off, but I broke several torque space in the process, but as you can see, let's get a close-up of this. There's the slit. Sorry, it's not really focusing well. You can see the easy out bit is slit is stuck in there, but that slit method really works. Again, we just gotta. I mean, the slit method. I wish I would have done that from the beginning. I have worked so hard on this. I mean, whatever engineer at Jeep at Chrysler made these bolts and decided to put Loctite on them and then not have the Torx bit go deep enough so it wouldn't strip, not have the Torx insert. I mean, I hope you're proud of yourself. You're probably retired, maybe even dead by now, but if you're the guy that made this design, you owe all of us a round of beers or something because you are a bane to our existence. All right, hope that helped everyone. Again, method. PB Blaster, several days before, multiple times a day if you can. Then I duct tape around the circle, duct tape around the edge, hit it with the torch for, <laughs> sorry, get that metal shaving off there, hit it with the torch for as long as you can stand. I mean, if you're not worried about burning the paint, hold it on there for a minute if you want. Uh, obviously, take care of the seal but I hold it on there for about 20-30 seconds. You can start to see the inside of the nut glowing or the bolt glowing. Uh, then quickly transition to your handheld impact wrench. This thing is, I mean this thing was probably $15-$20 on Amazon. I really didn't think it was going to work for it being so cheap. 
this is a five sixteenths insert, so if you think you can get by with a quarter inch insert, it doesn't. Don't think. Don't do that because I had to buy a bit separately. Slowed me down. Then I actually cut a slit in it with a Dremel and used a flathead. One of them, actually, two of them came off with the T40. So, anyways, hope that helped.